All right, in this lesson, let's add the Titanic data set to our new experiment. Recall that all of the models inside Azure Machine Learning Studio are supervised. That means they start with the data set. So let's go hunt down that data set. And in Google, let's type Titanic CSV. And it'll take you to the very first one. And the very first one is the one we want. Now, you will need to create a login. And if you don't want to create a login, you can always go back and hunt down one of these other data sets to use. This one from Kaggle is probably the best. So let's use it. I've already downloaded it. Again, you'll have to create an account. No big deal. Click on the train CSV and hit the download button. So let's do that. And now let's open in folder. And you can see we have the Titanic training data set. All right, so let's go ahead and add that to our project. All right, let's navigate back over here to Azure Machine Learning Studio and let's upload the Titanic data set to our data sets. All right, let's upload that Titanic CSV file here. We'll say new data set from local file. We'll choose a location. We will go to downloads. We'll say date, date. Let's open it up. This is what we want. The Microsoft Excel comma separated file. So you can see there's one and two. Here's the one I downloaded right now. And here's the one I downloaded previously. Let's just go with that. It's the exact same file. It says existing data set, yes. Type of file. It's a CSV with the header. Yes. Let's go ahead and say, let's upload it. And down here at the bottom, you'll notice that it's uploading our data set. And here, actually, it's uploaded. It's finished. So we can say OK. And now that our Titanic data set is uploaded, the next thing we need to do is create our experiment. So let's go to experiments. Let's go come down here to new blank experiment. Let's come up here and name this Titanic course. All right, so now we need to hunt down that data set. We go to save data sets, my data sets, and we hunt down the Titanic. We drop it to our canvas. All right, so we've got our Titanic data set on our canvas. We have properties about the module. And let's go ahead and take a look at that data set. Let's visualize it. Let's see what's in it. Let's come up here and click on that to hide the rest of it. And we can see we have 891 rows and 12 columns. Right? And in the next lecture, we're going to talk about these columns. Do we need all these? Which of these are going to be pertinent to predicting our target variable? And as you know, our target variable here is survived or didn't survive.